people do not a lot of people do not know themselves are not comfortable with themselves because solo travel aside which i think a lot of people are like wow you're so brave and you're not scared well I'll, I'll save that bit but solo travel aside it all comes down to being with yourself and how you feel about that the topic is being alone whether that's solo dating solo travel moving to a new city <sighs> i think on the surface hold on let me get my mic i think on the surface people say that they're scared of like solo travel or they're scared to do certain things alone because of safety reasons right that's valid but for me how i interpret that i'm just like that's just your surfle level concern your surface level concern surfle level is that what i said i don't know what i just said but i think that's your surface level concern right so we'll tackle that the technicalities of being alone like yes violence is a thing safety is a concern especially if you're a woman especially if you're a woman of color you'll start to learn that a lot of people don't actually want to harm you a lot of people don't give a fuck about you <laughs> but yeah a lot of people are not looking at you in that way you'll start to realize like oh like i am good but you know you never know right some tips that i have if you are going to solo travel or even go out to dinner by yourself in your own city is to always lie that is my favorite solo tip lie obviously going to the going out to dinner is different because people are going to see that you're completely by yourself but i've heard people say that when they're by themselves they wear a wedding ring so even if somebody sees them at dinner alone they just assume like oh this person may be married so let me let me chill because that person might be coupled up they might have somebody in terms of solo travel what I when I say lie, I mean like don't actually tell a stranger that you're by yourself. At the end of the day, you can do whatever you want. If you want to tell people you're by yourself because you're just like, listen, I trust, I trust um the universe, I trust God, I trust that things will align and that I'm always protected. So I'm gonna just say I'm alone. If you want to do that, go ahead. But me, I love the fact that I always have a friend wherever I'm at. So I could be in freaking Russia and my friend is so annoying because she's so tired and she did not want to grab lunch today but i'm just like you know what girl i'm not gonna stay in the room just because you it's because you want to stay there girl i'm going to lunch bonus points if your friend is a man <laughs> but you see how easily i just did that when you solo travel you are going to meet people whether you actually want to hang out with those people or not that's going to be your own experience but you are going to meet other solo people as well so obviously you can get to the point where you have discretion and you're like well obviously you're solo yes i'm solo too but me personally my go-to thing that i do when i solo travel is i just lie and i act like i am with someone or i know someone there bonus points if i actually do know somebody there and i think the beauty in that is that if somebody was going to try to harm you i want them to feel like oh yeah okay she has somebody here right <laughs> so let's move past lying there are also some real some other real dangers when you're by yourself and i have two devices that help me out so i have them linked in my amazon storefront if you want to check it out but a door stopper when you put this door stopper in your door no one can get in you can't even get out i mean obviously you can take the door stopper out i also have a carbon monoxide detector because these are some things that people don't really think about like if you go to another country by yourself sometimes they don't have the type of like infrastructure or plans in place the way like other countries do in my case the u.s i was going to mexico multiple times and i kept seeing news stories about people passing away in their sleep because of undetected co2 which i think is carbon dioxide so um or is that carbon dioxide girl i don't know i don't know the periodic table but i got this detector because i'm like i'm not taking any chances let me make sure that if the right infrastructure is is not in place that i can at least have something to help me out moving forward research 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 anything and everything research neighborhoods research 
places you want to go to, restaurants, excursions, language, money. Research all those things and go into your experience that's by yourself with confidence and knowledge. For example, if you're going to solo travel to Philly, I'm going to use Philly as the example because I know Philly quite well. If you're going to solo travel to Philly, right, you're not going to stay in Strawberry Mansion. I don't really think you should, right, as a tourist. That's the same way that if you're going to go solo travel to Mexico City, you're not going to stay in Tepito as a tourist. I'm just saying neighborhoods that I know that are comparable, right? You're probably going to come to Philly on your solo trip and stay in some areas of Fishtown or, or Northern Liberties, which are just North Philly, by the way, but gentrified. You're going to stay in downtown if you have the coin, you know, Old City or Center City or Red House, maybe even Northeast Philly. Shoot. But the same way, if you go to Mexico City, you're going to stay in Roma Norte, Condesa, Polanco, Coyoacan, maybe even Portales, you know. I've only been to Portales a little bit, but from what I gathered, it was decent. But you need to do this research and know where you should go, where you should not go. I swear, little things like that will just make you feel like you are more prepared, which ultimately will make you feel more confident. And this is how we start building trust because a huge topic of this video is trusting yourself. I don't often hear people say this, but you should look for WhatsApp groups in the places that you're going to. I personally have WhatsApp groups for Medellin, Colombia and Mexico City, Mexico. I'm going to put them in the description below. But basically, I mentioned that because a huge thing of solo travel is like obviously being by yourself, duh. I think I touched on this earlier, but you'll find out when you solo travel, you are almost never really alone. <laughs> so if you want to join WhatsApp groups and find events that are happening, group gatherings that are happening, even just maybe meeting uh, like-minded people, that is not only a tip to take forward with you to other destinations, but specifically if you are looking at like Medellin, Colombia or Mexico City, Mexico, check my description because I swear those groups led me to so much and just ended up, they resulted in so much enjoyment. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Also, ended up in me meeting like for real friends. But okay, now that we've gotten the technical thing out of the way, because people say like, you know, they don't want to be alone for safety reasons. I think that's very surface level. I, in my opinion, <laughs> in my humble opinion, I, me, myself, in my opinion, I believe that people are scared to be alone, not because there are safety concerns, but because they simply don't know what to do with themselves. I also think that when people think that if they go somewhere by themselves, they're going to think someone's looking at them as if they're a loser or like somebody's feeling bad for them. I also think that people are just like, okay, well, if I'm by myself, then what? I'm just going to be bored. Uh, this is so loaded because when you're by yourself, you get to know everything. You get to feel everything. Um, you get to address all those concerns. And ultimately, you get to learn yourself better. The thing is, though, you can't just take my word for it. The entire point is to experience it for yourself. I think the issue now is a lot of people say like, just do it, just do it solo, you know? But it's like, before you just go out and do it, you need to start trusting yourself. And trusting yourself really gets to the, really looks like telling yourself you will do something and then doing it. That's how you start building trust with yourself. It could be as simple as being like, okay, I'm gonna fold the laundry at 5 p.m. And then you know, the clock hits 5 p.m. and you actually fold that laundry. That's how you start letting yourself know that you are capable of doing the things that you set your mind to, that you are not going to play in your own face, and that you are actually going to get things done. You start building just like that. You start, you start being like, okay, let me take myself to the movies. I'm going to enjoy that. I like this movie. I know that. And you treat yourself well. You get yourself popcorn. You get yourself an icy. You're in your seat and you enjoy the movie. That's what trusting yourself looks like. It looks like believing that you can achieve things. And it also looks like treating yourself well. I swear when you start taking little steps like that, you get to the point where you are confident in just moving alone. Especially when you do things like research, join travel groups, make sure you have devices in place. Why? <laughs> <laughs> that's how you start getting comfortable with yourself that's how you start believing yourself the person you're going to be with forever in life is you 
why would you not get to know yourself well? Why would you not believe yourself? Why would you not be confident in yourself? Why would you not treat yourself well? But listen, we all have our moments. We've all been there. It's a step-by-step -step thing. From December 2023 to April of 2024, I was solo traveling. You can make the argument that I was not solo for actually any of those months, but <laughs> but I wasn't solo in Colombia. That's true. I had a roommate, but um, I'm still going to tell the story. So in December 2023, I went to Ivory Coast, La Côte d'Ivoire, and then I went to Liberia, my personal motherland. After Liberia, I went to Colombia. And then a week into Colombia, my friend that I met on TikTok joined me and we spent three months in Colombia together. But I don't care. I was solo in each of those countries at one point. <laughs> it's not even about like necessarily on purpose not hanging out with people, but I almost just don't even feel like texting anyone. Like I know I want to go, so let me just go. Because people can sometimes be disappointing, you know? Like, they might not be able to, or they might, like, actually bail. I know I have really solid friends. I have really solid community, pe period. But people are people. Like, you know, I don't want to rely on people to do things that I already want to do. I know I want to do it, so why can't I just do it? So I took little steps, like, going out to eat by myself. Going to the movies is such an easy one. I then did something big, and I went to Chicago by myself for the weekend. Before going to Chicago, though, I realized, like, oh, I went to New York by myself before overnight. So I was like, well, I've already been doing this. Like, why am I scared? Chicago was amazing. Felt like home. So then after Chicago, I think a year later, a year later, I took a three-week solo trip to Mexico. Girl. Excuse me. Mexico was amazing. So that solo trip just told me like, I can do whatever. That same year, I ended up quitting a job. Well, quitting two jobs, but I quit the second job that I got. And I was like, I'm gonna have to trust that I can make money on the go since I don't have the remote job. But I'm taking this this trip. Like I'm, I'm becoming nomadic, even if it's just for like these four months that I had planned out. I did plan out for four months. Going to Cote d'Ivoire was originally supposed to be a trip with my friend and she couldn't make it. So I was like, I'm still gonna go. <laughs> I went and legit, I mean, Ivorians are the sweetest people. I've always loved Ivorians. I'm Liberian, so I just always felt connected to Ivorians. But seeing in real life how many of them were just like the sweetest, most wholesome people, I was like, Bisous, Bisous, everybody give me a kiss. For real, I love them. One day in Ivory Coast, I went to the embassy. Wait, I might be getting a little sidetracked. But one day in Ivory Coast, I went to the Liberian embassy where I then met like my friend. I met my friend who introduced me to his cousin. Then we hung out the entire time in Ivory Coast. And I'm just like, it was just like moments like that that kept reminding me like, I am really good everywhere I go. So I tell you that story to to say not only are you okay when you're alone and not only do you meet people when you're alone but it was little moments like that that kept happening that really affirmed to me that why would I be scared I'm always good I attract well I attract everything I feel like but I attract good things I am such a people person, even though, like, people annoy the out of me sometimes. I am really a people person. Like, I talk a lot. I'm not shy. I am more extroverted. I have my introverted moments, and my social battery dies fast. But I, I don't know. Everywhere I've gone has affirmed to me that I'm good in this world. But I really appreciated the fact that I didn't, like, rush into doing that. Honestly, when I went on my four-month travels... I had to really convince myself to do it. Not because I was scared, but because I was like, well, you don't have a remote job. Like, you're just being whimsical, babes. But I really had to take the risk because I knew it, I'd been wanting it for so long. And I knew I was ready to do it. Maybe not, maybe not monetarily all the way. But <laughs> a little bit, actually. But I knew that internally I was ready to do it because I took steps like going on solo dates to restaurants and the movies. Like going on solo trips in the u.s like taking my dream mexico solo trip i was just like 
I'm ready for this. And also, I trust myself. How did I start trusting myself? By doing the things I told myself I would do. Don't get me wrong. I also told myself I would get a remote job and I haven't gotten one. But I also realistically and logically know, like, it's not up to me to get a remote job. It's up to the remote job to remote job me, duh. But <laughs> I can't believe I've been holding this as a mic this entire time. But this video is probably 30 minutes long, honestly. I hope it's good, though. <laughs> but yeah one thing about me it's so hard to stay on track and to tell a story for real for real but I hope that the message has been clear that I'm so comfortable being alone but I had to teach myself learn myself take steps I didn't just dive into it and I didn't do it like just out of pure bravery and 100% confidence. I did a lot of it scared, but I also started realizing that I'm good and that I am making the right decisions. I really hope this helps. I actually do have a goal of visiting all 50 states. So here's state number 15, which is Boston, Massachusetts. Bestie and I spent two days there. We